So hello, Sue, again. Hello. Um, we've been talking about butterfly technology just now, and um, we're doing going to do the separate little video now about the competition that you that you entered recently. And you did it rather on the spur of the moment, didn't you? So what the hell, you know, yes. are going to enter it? What's been the experience of that? And we're going to make sure that this goes out after all the confidentiality is, is sort of cleared around the program. What, what was the experience of that? Who was it for? What was the competition? What was it like? Well, the competition was on a lifestyle program called This Morning, um, which target audience is, is mainly mums who... Um, and that's IT, ITV? ITV, yes. And uh, mums who are at home um, with children. Um, and they were looking at the growing popularity of mums trying to work childcare around being flexible. And one of the things they'd noticed that mums have become more innovative right. and more trying to find businesses in which they can work you know, from home uh, and also have time, quality time with their children. Right. So they were looking for an idea. It didn't have to be a completed idea. It could be just a very good idea for a product the world couldn't do without or a mum who'd partially developed a business or who needed help in taking it to the next level. Um, and I was just listening while I was um, ironing one day. Right. And um, I heard them saying, and I just straight... And you're a mum of two. Yes, I've got two children, nine and a preschooler of uh, three. So you thought, hey, why not? Why not? Exactly, and I thought... What was the... What, was there a lot of paperwork to fill out before, you know, in, in entering it? Um, yes, you can go, you went to the website and um, you had to sign a confidentiality um, and uh, agreeing to allowing the information that you were going to give to the programme, that you were happy for it to be disclosed. Right. Because once and because, of course, the Butterfly technology is patented, exactly. so you haven't got those worries there, right? Exactly. Um, they also did direct you to, um, you know, some IP advice. Um, they also ask for a little bit about yourself, your children, um, what your technology or your idea or your invention was. And then they ask for a little personal profile, you know, what were you about as a person, what were your aims and goals, and right. what you enjoyed doing. It probably ran to three pages, but, um, you know, it wasn't onerous at all. So you got all of that off, and was it quite quickly that they came back to you? It took about... <clears throat> about three weeks right. I guess they said they had thousands of applicants and then they whittled them down to about between 60 and 80 well done and then they invited those to come and audition before a live panel of three judges right. all of these judges are very well respected and recognized in their own field of expertise they so what was that like then facing those judges did you know who they were before you got oh, yes. there right you did they were all you know giants in their own way um, they had Tim Campbell, who won the first Apprentice, right. um, who obviously went through a transformation and really understood how it felt to be out there. So he was very welcoming and warm and <coughs> helpful. And then they had two women business entrepreneurs, the woman who invented the Santa Fe spray on tan, yeah. and then Emma Richardson, who does Action for Enterprise, who's right. very well respected by the government. and. Um, for promoting Business Link, and she was also on Secret Millionaire. Right. Um, and all three of them had different um, opinions about what the mums were presenting. But what they did make clear was they didn't want it to be a terrifying experience. Right. They, they wanted to encourage mums to come forward. So how did you find that experience yourself? <laughs> Not terrifying then? Or? Well, I was, because I was first on. Oh, right. I didn't realise that. <laughs> so I had nothing to compare oh. it to. But um, the judges, again, they were very kind. They did ask some hard questions. I think whenever you bring something that you are trying to take to market, they have to test you, and they have to test that the product you've got is going to be marketable. So had you, had you practiced your pitch before? Yes. Well, in front of the mirror? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, was, I did both, but I, I am somebody who probably performs better if it comes out naturally. Mm. So. The essence of what I was going to say, I timed for two minutes, yeah. but I didn't practice it word perfect. Um, I think in retrospect, I would say to someone to have a section of the most important part of your presentation word perfect. It doesn't have to be very long, it could be like 30 seconds, but practice a paragraph specifically related to what you're trying to present. You mean this is your, your elevator bit, the bit where you're trying to explain it very succinctly? Yes, is that the bit you exactly, need to have down so pat? that okay. you get it off in a nutshell. And it has to be word perfect so that if your mind freezes, 
It's like a poem that you've learned. It just comes out of your mouth. Um, and also, I think it's very important to get to the heart of the matter okay. very early on. So, you know, by showing actually what the problems with tubes. Did, are. did you did you show the tubes and the butterfly technology, and did did you demonstrate it as part of that? I did. Right. I and that made a big difference. It you did. Think? The judges got it immediately. I think the problems that I had were similar to anyone taking something to market was.